Hello everyone. The Google Pixel 6 did end up getting Android 15, and this is now actually the lowest supported phone on Android 15. So let's go and see what kind of this software version kind of holds up kind of on this particular phone and on the Pixel 6 Pro presumably as well. Now I will tell you the Pixel 6, still like it, still a very good phone. And Android 15 came out to a very interesting size. It wasn't the biggest size of all time. It was like 2 point something gigabytes. It was a very interesting install though, because you do have to install it via the beta process of just you know, registering it on your device. It is nice because we do have this kind of new layout. I think this came from Android 14 as well, but it still looks pretty nice. I still like the way it looks. If we take a look at the bottom, if we take a look at like the about phone type of set, if we go back out and if we click on about phone right here, you can see at the very bottom, we should have some software version. And under Android version, it still says vanilla ice cream. So I don't really know what they're going to end up calling it. But you can see, I mean, it is the newest version, which is very interesting. So it still says Android 14, which is very interesting. I don't know if they're ever going to change this, but I guess we'll see what happens in the future. And again, this is the first beta. So it's going to probably take some time for it to go and kind of update and all that stuff. Now under this, we do have partial screen sharing now available within Android. So this is actually very cool. So again, it's going to take some time for it to kind of get a little bit more fleshed out, but it looks like this was first enabled in the Android 14 version. And again, I'm reading this from Android Authority, but it looks like this is going to be now added here too. And they showed a little option within their screen recording panel. So if we go into here and if we go and click into screen recording, there should be an option for like partial screen sharing. So I guess we'll see what happens here, but I guess we'll see what happens. I think that's a really cool feature. Now we also have satellite connectivity support as well. So this is something that's going to be really interesting to see within Android 15 when it officially comes out with having satellite support, because that is something that in and of itself was something that Apple talked about a lot a few years ago. And now we're going to have that option here too, which again is going to be a very cool thing. Now on top of that, we do have a little bit of an option where it says notification cooldown. So this is something that's very interesting. It's going to be like if you're, I guess, a popular person and if you get a lot of like people notifying you and messaging you all the time, you will basically get a little option that will basically tell you, hey, do you want to cool down your notifications? So that's going to be something that's going to be very cool. Again, when that officially comes out, you should be able to see that here as well. But that in and of itself is going to be another really cool thing going on in this particular device too. It's the notification cooldown option. Now, on top of that, inside of our camera application, we're going to be also seeing a little bit of an option for some newer in-app controls. So, you know, our current in-app you know, camera is pretty basic, I would say. But now that we're going to be getting some newer options, I'm actually very excited about it. For now, it looks like it's some newer options for low light photos. So if you're somebody who wants to take you know, lower light photos, you will have that type of option of kind of going through here and kind of modifying it a little bit further. Again, you know, once we kind of mess around with Android a little bit more, we'll basically see what's going on. But that's another very, very cool thing going on for this particular device too. Now on top of that, Android is now bringing this new keyboard vibration control under our keyboards. So this is something that's actually very cool because, you know, before, you know, you could, you know, enable your keyboard options before too and all that stuff. But now going through here, you will have a new little option here, which will allow you to kind of mess around with your particular keyboard and its vibration controls, which I think is a really, really cool thing. And once again, that in and of itself is going to be coming around for this particular version of Android. So again, it's probably going to take a little bit of time for it to officially kind of become a little bit better. But if you're using the stock keyboard, that's another very cool thing going on under vibration and haptics actually. So if we go under vibration and haptics right here, you should see a little option down here eventually that will go and allow you to kind of modify the keyboard vibration, which is right there, which is another really cool thing happening inside of this one. There's also going to be some new sensitive notification toggles. So if you're getting a sensitive notification, it will go ahead and kind of notify you of that. It's going to do some Bluetooth pop-up dialogue as well, which is another really cool thing. So now if you go inside of the quick settings here, if you hold down on the Bluetooth option right here, it should give you a quick toggle. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's working right now. As you can see, now it's working. So now when we click on it, it'll go and give us this little pop-up, which is actually very cool. If you hold it down, it will still take you to the older one too. And there's a lot of other options that are going to be coming out too. There's a lot of new features going out for this particular feed, you know, this, this device. I'm actually very happy that we're going to be getting a lot of these features on our Pixel 6. I still think the Google Pixel 6 is a very, very good device with a ton of you know, capability. And there's a lot of newer things being added too. And a lot of these features will be added throughout time. So it's not all going to be added today. But I will definitely tell you, even from the few features that we saw as of this point, there are still lots of cool things going on with this particular update. I'm very excited about it. And if you have a Google Pixel 6, I will tell you, you have a lot of things to be excited about within this particular device coming up very, very soon. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up here.
you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.